Hi, and welcome to today's Tuesday tip. Today's tip is what I called a two four, similar to a B-O-G-O, -O, buy one, get one. What I mean by that is the multifamily housing newsletter this month encourages owners and agents to have their residents to file income taxes. They want you to ask your residents to file their taxes for the child care and earned income tax credits, which was of great benefit to many. As part of the American Rescue Plan to help families through the pandemic, parents and guardians were eligible for up to $3,000 to $3,600 per child, depending on the child's age through the child tax credit. And many adults, elderly adults, were also eligible for additional money through the earned income tax credit. Eligibility for the EITC, the earned income, has been expanded from 25 to 64 years of age to now include those who are 64 and up. That's a great thing for some of our residents. Receiving these benefits will not impact eligibility for other federal benefits or our residents' rents. These tax credits are not to be counted as income, so that's a great thing. The credits are not income, that's what I said. Receiving these benefits will not impact eligibility for other federal benefits or our residents' rents. Now here's the 2-4 or the BOGO, buy one, get one. Since credits are not counted as income, they should not mind find, filing a tax return. However, wait for it, wait for it. You will be able to see if they have any hidden income that you didn't know about. You'll be able to look at their tax return. It's a win-win for them and it's a win-win for owner agents.